Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign. It is time for some extracurriculum activities, a flashpoint that will hopefully uh, let us uh, reunite with the Lyran Commonwealth and uh, get some big fat rare items. Okay, so as fate just uh, wanted it, Alban Stiegel's Bradford, uh, the Lauren Commonwealth, by the way, is kind of a German-ish uh, or German-esque type of uh, faction, wants us to investigate and capture something for us. Shouldn't be a problem, of course. Cool, let's go. Here we go. Three and a half schools. That should be interesting. Capture an entire base and... Well... Doesn't look too bad. I don't like only the twelve, uh, uh, the only twelve salvage. So maybe the right way of actually approaching this mission is to go all out in cash. A mill sounds plenty interesting. So how about we are getting Tigan into the Orion? Or Tygen runs the Griffin, and we actually give Reaper the Orion. She has a bit more gunnery skill. And we're fighting in the desert, so that's not our home turf, so to speak. It'll be a difficult mission because we're potentially going to overheat. Meaning we got to watch uh, the heat management quite closely if we want to be successful. Good. Let's deploy onto the mission. Three and a half schools is kind of our upper limit, so we got to be careful here. And remember, the biome is making it more difficult for us. Interesting map. All of this here is helping mechs that are having uh, jump jets. We, of course, do not have them. We got a little bit of wood or forest there. Almost no chance to get over here. This here looks like a decent spot to fight. But hell yeah, that mission might be more difficult than I would have expected. Can't remember that I played uh, played that uh, flashpoint any time ago. Played through all of them, so they are not random, as you potentially know by now. But I can't remember this one here, this particular one. Moving to position. Okay, all we need to do is eliminate the factory's uh, defense. Can't be that difficult. Ready for orders. Moving up. Move. Aye, yo. aye, aye. Our heavy cavalry moves through the forest. Right Centurion follows them. Ready to rock. And finally, let's move up Copy that, Commander. with a grip. Eyes on the munition facility. Let's approach with caution. We gotta be careful. Oh, hell yeah. it's on now. And surprise, surprise, something is not Different. going right. All right, Griffin moves up, Vigilance just in case. And let's get these heavy LRM turrets. Ooh, wow, we didn't even kill it. Okay, fantastic. All right, Centurion, multi-shot. Kill that heavy turret. And please hit the laser turret and hit it well. Fantastic. LRM gone. And the laser turret slowly but surely fades as well. Standing by. If we were to try to hit the sniper turret, uh, that wouldn't work out. Okay. Good. 
But the heavy shredding tower on the other hand, that one could definitely be killed. 425, I think we're just not overheating immediately. It's go time. There we go. One less target. Waiting for orders. On my Moving way. up to the heavy laser tower again. Not overheating. Roger. Three out of four are gone. Turret destroyed. One sniper tower. And we're okay heat wise. Confirmed. Affirmative command. Moving up with Griffin. Yes, command. Something I can do. No problem. Centurion moves up. Sniper turret is almost down. Awaiting orders. We'll go. Good. We're saving our consumables. That turret is gone. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Picked up a blip. Told you it's not going to be that simple, right? Pacify the surrounding area, and we're looking at what? Two heavies, one medium. Okay. Let's see what they got. Waiting for the right move. Two mediums. PPC hits. Two PPCs, none of which hit. Might as well move over here to not be in range for the heavies and still get a good look. A Warhammer. Okay, cool. Vigilance on the Griffin. Let's scare that Warhammer a bit. Fantastic mech, by the way. It's a heavy one. Is that a Grasshopper? No, Black Knight. Equally scary, to be honest. Oh, and a Marauder. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. All right. We are sort Commander. of outclassed. Okay, what are we going to uh, do? I think we're going to go for the Black Knight. Mox can move back. Multi-target. I just want to make sure we're reducing their blips. Black Knight takes some damage. For the Marauder it's uh, insignificant. So that's heavy, 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 and whatever Got we're dealing with is the fourth mech. Commander. Ryan could move up. Potentially not a good idea. 50-50. You know what I am instead going to do? Moving back to here. Roger that. Right? And let's just take... Got His bleep, uh, blips away. That also gives us some extra heat regeneration. Not a perfect turn, but definitely one that is okay. 
So that in return will allow us to move here, put in vigilance to have a faster initiative and start to do some hit and run maneuvers. Black Knight got a nice little hit there. We are moving away with the Griffin. I want them to come to us and not by, uh, not the other way around. Okay, that's fine. What's up, boss? We got to save uh, heat again. So Thunderbolt is tanking with his right side. Got a lock on me. Let them come first. Yeah, that's solid 60% damage reduction. We are trying to outlast them and basically let them move into a really poor position. That was a breaching shot. So those guys are level seven. Yeah. Moving up with the Centurion. And let's just give him a good, good little pounding here. Might as well reduce his initiative to make sure that next turn he's not going to be able to react. Solid, solid hit. Black Knight was losing almost all of his armor. And the Orion will be... Are we going to tank? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> Vigilance. And let's just go for everything. Fantastic. Half of the Black Knight is gone. So far we're doing actually surprisingly well. Centurion will soon move uh, back. We also got a heat problem as you can see. Centurion completely moves back. Let's just use the LRMs. connection on that one damage minimal what are your orders skipper uh my orders are let them act first roger that easy that created a lot of heat for them and not much of an output ready to rock Tigan moves up. Vigilance just in case because I want to move away next turn. That's the second damage for the pilot. We might even be able to salvage this uh, one if we can hit the pilot so that he becomes unconscious. On the move. I like the idea of getting that blackjack, so I'm just aiming for the head. 15% on on the leg is not good enough. Might We really need a head hit in order to, to incapacitate this guy. Unfortunately, the torso went off before anything significant could happen. Yeah. Moving back, saving some of our energy. Just sensor locking this Marauder for good measure so that we can hit it easier next turn. It's on now. Confirmed. T 
Ty again. What are we going to do with you, buddy? For now, standing back, racing. I already mentioned I want them to come. Okay. Eighty percent is good enough for me. So the Centurion needs to <clears throat> still regain some heat, as you can see every single turn. We're just using rockets for now. That was a bit more aggressive. Um, heavy gotta be commander. careful here. Aye, aye. All right, Bradford can still tank, so it's not a problem. Vigilance to make sure that he can do that, and the Warhammer will be our next target. Target acquired. Ryan moves confirmed. forward. The Marauder is just braced in the hopes of regaining some heat. You can see they also cannot fire every single round, right? Show them what you got. Rifleman takes a shot, but minus 60% damage. Be clear that that's not going to go anywhere. Moving to position. Good. Let's make sure we're getting this guy further down the initiative order the shot. also the more rockets hit the better you can see he's highly highly unstable now Ready to rock. we're going to wait with uh, Tygen until the very end And his right arm is the one that has taken more hits. So might as well present the left arm. Just like that. Continuing to hit the Warhammer. Almost got him down. Reporting critical hit. Good, the Marauder Back. will launch a counter-attack. Luckily, onto the left hand side, unfortunately, hit the torso, which is a bit annoying. Commander. All right, Orion goes a tiny bit back. All right, come on. We want to hit this guy and we want to put him to the ground. Perfect. Explosion, knockdown, that's two points of damage for the pilot. Confirmed. And we're also needing to deal with the Marauder at some point. For now, I'm just trying to get the blips off of him. Warhammer is heavily injured. Okay, that was fine. It's go time. Skipper. Order.
Good. Centurion moves back. Let's... Let's start with hitting the Warhammer with all we got. Pretty solid hits overall. Marauders getting prepped for their turn. Okay, the torso is open for the Thunderbolt and we I'm can't let that damage. just stand. So we've got to deal uh, with that rather fast. Griffin moves up. Nothing's open for them at the moment. Reducing the initiative of the Warhammer. Pilot again injured. Potentially not enough to take them down. No. Ready for orders. Thunderbolt moves back. Vigilance for 60% defense. And let's just hit the try to hit this guy and kill him. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, the Marauder still has problems with its heat. Confirmed. We're letting the Orion tank for now. And let's focus on the Marauder. Nice hit. Again, this guy hit the torso. How is that even possible? Continue to hit the torso every single time. Thunderbolt moves further back. Vigilance, just in case I don't want a torso blow out. And we even removed another evasion over here. Fantastic. Griffin nicely moves back. Just a bit of stability damage, nothing major. And look, we're having problems with the heat, just like everyone else. Structure massively exposed. Luckily, there will only be a few shots. Is he actually overheating? Ooh, he managed to see it quite well. Yes, Honestly speaking, I was expecting him to do much, much worse. That was respectable. Quite a few lasers, but he still managed to pull that off somehow. Reporting critical hits. Warriors, show them what you got. All right, the Orion tanks as good as we can. What are your orders, Skipper? Look, the problem overall is, you know, that is potentially quite clear in a, uh, by now. We're not having the firepower to deal with these guys, ha, but luckily. Head? With clever placements, we at least managed to kind of uh, thin them out. But the fact that we take so long in order to even get them down shows you just how difficult it is. They have a lot of armor, and specifically the Marauders yes, Commander. are actually a force to be reckoned with. Wonderful. That'll be our second Marauder part, if I'm not mistaken. Standing 
Good. He will act first, so sensor locking wouldn't make uh, much sense. We're reducing in order to get some heat back. And let's see what else he has in store for us. Oh, goodness. Tries to hit the center torso. Not successful. I can't take much more of this. And he effectively really shot himself. Oh Ready my gosh. That's literally the most greedy play that I've seen in a while. You got it. He overheated so bad that he shut himself down. Okay. Straight for the head. Ready for order. He wanted to kill. He wanted the kill so bad, and even if he would have hit with everything, it still wouldn't have killed. By the way, but he wanted it so bad. Location confirmed. We're automatically getting that, so... We're automatically getting aimed shots. Just trying to hit his head. I'm out of SRM. Move order confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Target's taken a critical hit. All right, pilot injured, knocked down, overheated. Is the guy going out? Skipper. I'm on him. Okie dokie. Well, that that was a Closer than expected battle, but we're not even getting... Ah, uh, I forgot I was just in for money. We're not getting salvage. Ah, uh, too bad. We got a couple of nice heavy mechs in this particular mission. The Marauder and the Black Knight. I would take either of them. So yeah, Marauder 1 out of 3 and Black Knight 1 out of 3. I would, that These two would have been awesome additions. Okay, a million in cash isn't bad either. Good, and we are back in the discussion. So let's see if we can make any decent decisions here. Apparently no one was in that city. Good. Refuse to help locals who are professional mech warriors, not amateurs. Agree to help locals. Hmm. Let's help to agree the locals. I know that they can't pay us, but at least we'll get some salvage. And it's an escort mission. Holy moly. Well, we're going to do that the next time. Escort mission for eight salvage. But here's the deal. If it's another Marauder, oh my gosh, um, I would definitely do that type of mission. Commander. Bradford still needs a bit to level up. Commander. Waiting for order. Mox. I'm waiting for better gunnery. Standing by. What are your orders, Skipper? And let's just get piloting four. Good to go. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Waiting for orders. What's Gosh, up? if you're doing very slow uh, SDXP progression, it is actually very slow. Good. Next time, guys, we're going to take a look into the extra curriculum activities part two, helping the locals a bit and then hopefully getting some salvage. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed going through this together with you and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.